Uh, James is a really smart actor, but he's hilarious. I think I laugh most of the time, and it didn't feel like work. We literally laughed the whole time we were together on set. So um, he's just a, he's a really good person and a very thoughtful actor. I don't know. I think it's just like our normal everyday conversation or like if we're in the middle of a scene and something just feels off or silly. I just saw a bunch of bloopers the other day. Um, there's this one in the hay. We had we like well, I can't tell you part the movie, you gotta go see it, but there's this one part where we have to drop somewhere and we just start busting out laughing. And he just he's just a naturally funny guy who doesn't try hard to be funny. And so everyday conversation is just is just a, a joy to be around and talk to him about. Uh, Jim was everything you would think a superstar is and except without like the bad attitude. And he's he was so welcoming and so friendly. He felt like home, especially because we grew up with him. Uh, and he was just collaborative and he really wanted it to be great. And he was just super loose on set, you know, and just just kind. No, he, didn't, he, he didn't play any jokes. He's, he's not a person who needs to play jokes. He just talks and he's funny. <laughs> I, I don't think uh, it's, I don't think he uh, per se like says do this. I think when you're watching somebody and if you're just listening and um, he's just a perfectionist at what he does and he thinks about every moment. Um, he pays attention to everything about his character. So you just you know you just take hints from that and 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 also making we got to sit around and and work on a scene together uh to kind of make it a little bit better that would fit all of our characters and we really collaborated and he he really cares about every piece of the project so um just watching him work that way it informed me on what i can be how i can become a better actor yeah, no, we, well, there was a proxy there who was kind of like a cutout of him and of, of Sonic. And then there was like a ball. Uh, it's, it's, it's different. It's, you got to really use your imagination because, you know, and bravo to Jeff Fowler, the director, because when I saw the end result, I'm like, oh my gosh, it feels so real. Like we're talking to Sonic. Um, because one, they made it feel that way, and 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 two, um, I don't know. We just had to really use our imaginations, and it, it it pushed us to like really fun stuff, to do really fun stuff. Uh -huh.